Did you know that your community has a profound impact on your health? Well, a recent study discovered that when a person becomes obese, his or her friends were 57% more likely to become obese too. And more astounding, the friends of that person's friends were 20% more likely to become obese as well. It works the same way for smoking, though not as pronounced. It begins to sound like a vicious cycle, doesn't it? In Albert Lee, we have over 25% of the population bound by a pledge to make the blue zone changes we've suggested. But to reach the other 75%, friends and friends of friends, we've had to take a more encompassing approach. Instead of trying to change people's eating habits alone, we've decided to change their environment. For example, since the average American eats out over 100 times per year, we've enlisted most of Albert Lee's restaurants to make some changes. We asked Dr. Brian Wansing to work with local restaurateurs. Well, the first thing to look for is the healthy options, because the deal is these aren't necessarily the most profitable, so they, they tend to bury them in the menu, so you've got to look a lot more carefully for them than you would something that they sell out of. He also helped them design menus so people pick the healthy choice. You're giving people options. The stiffest fries, they can choose salad if they want to. And the healthier options might even want to put this as the default, and they can ask for fries only if they want it. His research at the Cornell Food Lab shows that using adjectives like fresh or crispy to describe entrees makes it more likely that people will order it. According to Wansink, if you want to make sure people don't order an entree, label it the healthy choice. Knowing that kids have a profound impact on adults, we asked nutritionalist Dr. Leslie Lido to help us optimize Albert Lee's schools. So we really find that there are four things that schools can do to make sure that their kids are healthier. One, make sure kids don't have foods or beverages in the hallway. Two, make sure kids don't have foods or beverages in the classroom. Three, don't use foods as fundraisers. And four, don't use foods as incentives or rewards. She helped convince several schools in Albert Lee to prohibit eating in classrooms and in hallways so their kids would be healthier too. She, in fact, helped identify nine policies that will help kids in all of Albert Lee's seven schools move more and eat less. Finally, we work with local grocery stores. Grocers put huge signs in front of beans, teas, and whole grain foods so people were constantly reminded of the healthy choice. So, for nine months, no matter where you go in Albert Lee, the AARP Blue Zones Vitality Project is everywhere. Everyone and their friends and their friends' friends are gently nudged into the behaviors that will help them get the most good years out of life. After all, if you're going to live to be 100, you're going to want all of your best friends at the birthday party.